Previously on Ed and Eddie Z, Johnny 2x4 and Plank found the red chaos on in the woods, but were attacked by Professor Utonium before they could cart it back to the cul-de-sac. Utonium spared Johnny, however, as Sarah and Jimmy came running. After J Jimmy warned our heroes of the attack, Eddie found his reason to train. As the Ed sparred, Drew worked on the Destructo Disc attack. Just as he finished perfecting it, Androids 15 and 16 attacked the same. The cousins shook off an initial wave of shock and battled 16 while the Eds battled 15. Meanwhile, Kevin made the decision to tell all about Eugenium, saying it was his atonement for his mistake. After a hard clash of key, our heroes used the Kaioken times 6 to blast the two irons away. They proceeded to go home, but stopped as Kevin, Rolf, and Naz were waiting for them. But their bias against the Eds and their friends forced them to let the heroes pass without telling about Eugenium. What happens now? Find on this episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie Z.
Previously on Ed and Ed Z, Johnny 2x4 and Plank found the Red Chaos Emerald in the woods, but were attacked by Professor Utonium before they could cart it back to the cul de sac. Utonium spared Johnny, however, as Sarah and Jimmy came running. After J Jimmy warned our heroes of the attack, Eddie found his reason to train. As the Ed sparred, Drew worked on the Destructo Disc attack. Just as he finished perfecting it, Androids 15 and 16 attacked the same. The cousins shook off an initial wave of shock and battled 16 while the Eds battled 15. Meanwhile, Kevin made the decision to tell all about Eugenium, saying it was his atonement for his mistake. After a hard clash of key, our heroes used the Kaioken times 6 to blast the two irons away. They proceeded to go home, but stopped as Kevin and Rolf and Naz were waiting for them. But their bias against the Eds and their friends forced them to let the heroes pass without telling them about Eugenium. What happens now? Find on this episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie Z.